Welcome to our section, how to calculate the net present value in the TI-83. Let's start. First, let's say that you have a problem like this one. They give you a bunch of cash flows and you need to figure it out the net present value with the cost of capital of 4%. Let's do it. So the first step is to turn your calculator on and now you're gonna go to apps. Is this blue button right here and you're gonna get a menu. On the menu, click on finance. There you're gonna click enter. The enter menu is the one on the right button and you will get this menu. Now, remember, we wanna calculate the net present value. So you go to MPV and it has like a little parenthesis and you're gonna get something like this. Now, we need to go ahead and put the arguments or let's enter the information. Before I start, very important, we're gonna have negative numbers. So you need to use this negative. Do not use this negative. If not, the calculator is gonna give you that you make a mistake. Also, there is a part where we're gonna have to use what is called curly braces. So in order to um, figure out that key, you're gonna click here which is actually the word second, and where the parenthesis is, you can see here we have the curly braces. So make sure that you know that and make sure you use this negative. All right, let's do it. Remember, you need to go ahead and put everything exactly how it is here. Do not miss any commas, any curly braces or parentheses. If not, the calculator is gonna tell you, ah, mistake. So let's do it. Now the rate, we're gonna go ahead and put 12, I don't have to put it as a decimal because if not, you're gonna make a mistake. So it was 12%, so you just put 12. If it was 5%, you would've just put five. If it was, um, I don't know, 110, you would've just put 110. Now you're gonna put the cash flow zero. Here I put negative 1200. Important, if you don't have any cash flow zero, just put zero. Very important, you need to make sure you tell the calculator that your cash flow is either zero or another value. In our case, it's negative. Now you put a comma and you put the curly brace and you put all the cash flows, cash flow one, two, three, and four. Then you need to finish by putting the curly brace, like the ending one, and finally the parenthesis. Remember, TI-83, anytime you start with a parenthesis, you need to finish with a parenthesis. Since we have a curly brace here, we need to finish with a curly brace. And do not forget your commas. And that's it, that's how easy it is gonna be. Here you have like a screenshot of our problem. Uh, you can see here that I put the comma, the curly brace, and everything. And then at the end, you just click enter. Awesome. This is our final answer, and that's it. Don't forget to watch our other videos, and also,